We want each guy's experience to be unique in that he leaves here feeling like he was really cared about, he was treated with dignity and respect, and most of all, we helped him move forward in his life. When the COVID started, uh, my job was closed, so I don't have a job. Mr. Cortez, he told you the truth in the life because he know it. This is my life. I have experienced homelessness myself. My hypothermia transition program, which is this program, is going to yield about 80% success rate, which means that most of these guys are going to come out on the other side of this with a job and a place to live. We actually allow guys to stay on the premises uh, for five months, the five cold months of the year, November the 1st through March. We got peace right now. When you come from outside, it's peace of mind first. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you give us, Lord. Please bless the food to our bodies and our bodies to your service. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Gonzaga mothers, who are my partners, they provide a meal for them that probably you or I don't have uh, every day. I don't eat the meals that these guys get every day. People, they work overnight uh, assistant to Cortez, they've been here. All of them, they succeed. All of them. They have a job, they have a house, and right now they will help him. He pays them too. As I'm talking right now, I have two jobs. Even if the program is over, it's not over with the people. You can still come in, you, you're still in touch, he calls, he calls you back anywhere you was, you're stuck, then you come back, he, he pushes you, he gives you incentives. By the springtime, you can see this man who's totally confident now, he knows where he's going, you know, he, he has a future now, things look bright for him now, and so it's uh, no amount of money that can stand up with that. You know, the, the feeling I get from that.